And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! Detroit Lions defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn has recently been voted as the number one defensive coordinator in the NFL, according to the players. The players did a huge anonymous voting system over the last month or two, talking about their favorite defensive coordinators, who they think the best defensive coordinators are. And Aaron Glenn came away as the number one ranked defensive coordinator in the league. Now, for reference, Dave Phipp, the special teams coordinator for the Detroit Lions, was ranked number four among all special teams coordinators. Well, Ben Johnson, surprisingly enough, wasn't actually ranked within the top five of the offensive coordinator positions. So although it is not strictly based on statistics and team success, the players do believe that Aaron Glenn is the number one defensive coordinator in the league and essentially saying he's the guy that they want to play for more than anybody else. Now, as somebody who has been very critical of Aaron Glenn over the season, as somebody who has been very hard on Aaron Glenn and brought up a lot of different things about why the defense defense is failing and asked for a lot of different change on the defense, I think it's time to go back, revisit this idea, and kind of update where the Detroit Lions are at as a defensive unit, because not only are they a significantly better defense than the last time we made a video like this, they are becoming a top 10 defense over the last month, right before our very eyes. So, with that being said, let's get into taking a look at Aaron Glenn. Now, Aaron Glenn and the Detroit Lions are a, I would say, up and down defense. They have a couple statistics that are really good for them, and they have a lot of statistics that would tell you they're not a very good defense overall on the year, and I think that's pretty true. For the entirety of the 2023 season, they have been a very streaky defense. They have had a three to four game stretch where they look like a top 10 unit, and they've had a four to five game stretch where they have looked like the worst team in the NFL. Overall on the season, the Detroit Lions rank almost dead middle in the league in yards allowed at 15th. They rank as the 25th passing defense but the fifth best rushing defense in the NFL. But then you drop that back down when you go to scoring as they rank as the 23rd best scoring defense in the NFL. And a lot of these statistics are reasons why a couple weeks ago or even a couple months ago, we were talking about why the defense needed to change, what needed to change on the defense, because a defense in the third year of a rebuild, a defense contending for an NFC North title, a defense contending for potentially an NFC crown should not have a defense that is the 25th passing defense in a pass-happy league and the 23rd scoring defense in the NFL. So we talked about a lot of different changes. We talked about different personnel changes, different scheme changes, and different things Aaron Glenn needs to do for the defense to succeed. And they've done that. Over the last three games, the Detroit Lions have not only been a good defense, not only been a better and steadily improving defense, I would argue they have been a top 10 defense in the NFL over the last three games. And that's after a three-week stretch of them showing subtle improvements from the Saints game all the way up to the last Chicago Bears game. The defense showed more and more life, showed smaller and smaller improvements until it all came together versus the Denver Broncos on Saturday night, where they pitched a first-half shutout going into the locker room 21-0 at halftime and coming away from that game with a 42-17 victory after a dominant defensive showing, after some personnel changes, after some scheme changes, their defense looks elite versus not a great Denver offense, but certainly a very serviceable Denver offense. The week after that, they went into Minnesota looking for their first NFC North crown in 30 years, and they allowed just 24 points, which might sound right around league average, might not sound super incredible, but they forced four turnovers on the day. They had four interceptions off of quarterback Nick Mullins, as well as a couple of sacks, and they were able to use that defense to get away and escape from Minnesota as NFC North champs for the first time in franchise history and division champs for the first time in 30 years capped off 
by a game ceiling interception by Ifiatu Melifonwu. The week after that, they went into Dallas, a place where the Cowboys have averaged 40 points per game as the home team, and they held them to just 20 offensive points. They had two turnovers on the day, one interception again by Ifiatu Melifonwu, and a fumble that bounced out of the back of the end zone caused by Kendall Vilder. The defense forced a couple of turnovers. They only allowed 20 points to the Dallas defense, and other than that big 92-yard play to CeeDee Lamb that should have resulted in a safety for Detroit, their defense was pretty spot on and pretty good all night long. Another big another big change for this defense. From weeks 1 to 14, the Detroit Lions had just 14 turnovers. They were averaging about one turnover a game, which isn't bad necessarily. There are teams that certainly average less than one turnover a game on defense, but it wasn't anything good. I didn't feel like the defense was really helping the team, and that one turnover a game wasn't really overcoming the lackluster play on the rest of the defensive snaps. Whereas over the last three weeks, the Detroit Lions have seven turnovers. Turnovers. From week 15 to 17, they've had seven turnovers in those three weeks, over half as much as they've had in the previous 14 weeks combined. Now, one of them came against Denver on a strip sack by Ifiatu Melifanu. Four of them came as interceptions versus Nick Mullins. And of course, we talked about the two turnovers in Dallas where Ifiatu Melifanu came away with his second pick of the year. And Kendo Vilder caused a fumble that gave the ball back to Detroit in a huge and crucial moment for the Lions. Now, the Detroit Lions are not a perfect defense still. They still give up a ton of yards through the year. They still have a pretty subpar secondary, if I say so. And their defense is not elite. Their defense has been steadily improving. Their defense is significantly better. But on a snap-to-snap -snap basis, they are not an elite defense. But I don't think they necessarily have to be. They still give up big plays. They still give up a ton of yards. And they are still not very good in the air. But where this defense has really come along and where this defense has really started to shine is the big moments, is the clutch moments. Because, yeah, they might allow a 60, 70-yard drive, but two to three times a game over the last month, they're going to come away with an interception to end the drive. They're going to come away with a turnover to flip that momentum. And even though you just went 16, even though you just went 10, 12 plays for 60 yards, that interception is going to kill all the momentum you just had and give all of it back to the Detroit Lions offense as they send their top five offense onto the field to go put up more points or put up the first points of the game. The Lions defense is not elite. The Lions defense, I would say, still isn't really top 10, but the way that they are playing is going to put them in situations to win football games because now they're not giving up those long third downs. They're not giving up those third and 10s, third and 11s very often anymore. It still happens, but not nearly as much as it has over the previous 14 weeks between weeks one and 14. They're coming up in big moments. They're not allowing big plays and big shots in obvious passing situations. And even though they're not great, they are significant significantly better than they were a couple of weeks ago. They're forcing more turnovers. They're not getting off the field on third down and they're coming up in big and clutch moments. Third down defense is way better. And I think the secondary changes made have really improved this Detroit Lions defense from a pass perspective. And even though they're not great, they are significantly better than they were in the previous weeks when they were bottom of the league. I think the biggest changes are Ifiatu Melifanwu getting more time, as we've said for pretty much the entirety of the season going back to week four or five. Ifiatu was great when he was playing due to injuries, and now that he's back on the field, he's playing great again. We did a video about him a couple weeks ago, a couple days ago, and we're talking about Ifiatu Melifanwu as a defensive player of the year candidate if his games are extended to a 17-game season, right? Jerry Jacobs, a player that came into the season with a lot of hype, a player that came into the season as a fan favorite, has been benched for guys like Kendall Wilder and Khalil Dorsey, who have stepped up to the plate and made big plays in big moments. Have they been perfect? Far from it. But they they have been a sizable upgrade from the play that Jerry Jacobs was displaying over the first 14 weeks of the season. And I think that scheme is a huge part of why the Detroit Lions are improving on the defensive side of the ball. Aaron Glenn is blitzing more. Aaron Glenn is using his safeties properly. Aaron Glenn is using his linebackers properly. Aaron Glenn is sending the right pass rushers at the right time. He's blitzing his linebackers at the right time, and it's causing pressure. Even though they don't have a ton of talent on the defensive line, even though that they are serious even though they are severely depleted at that defensive line spot in that especially edge rusher position, 
they are still getting pressure. They are still getting two to three sacks a game over the last three games because Aaron Glenn is sending pressure at the right time because the blitzers are getting home because Aiden Hutchinson is starting to turn into the Pro Bowl caliber pass rusher that he is for the Detroit Lions. And even though they are lacking a little bit of talent, especially on the defensive line and especially in the secondary at that cornerback two role, they have been a top 10 defense over the last month. And it's been a drastic turnaround from where they were mostly because of personnel changes that we recommended a couple of months ago, as well as scheme changes that we've talked about all season. So with that being said, the Detroit Lions, I think over the last three weeks are a top 10 defense. They're forcing turnovers. They're not allowing very many points, even to really, really good offenses. And I think that they're going to be even scarier in the playoffs because going into week 18, the Detroit Lions are expected to welcome back their prized free agent, CJ Gardner Johnson, to man the secondary and improve and add more talent to a what is on paper not a very good secondary. They are expected to bring back Aleem McNeil, arguably the second best player on the Detroit Lions defense next to Aiden Hutchinson, and a top tier defensive line pass rusher for the Detroit Lions, as well as James Houston, who in his rookie season had eight sacks in just seven games with his tremendous and elite bend in a Ability to get around the edge and get to the quarterback, these three guys could seriously impact the defense going into the playoffs. And if the Lions continue to play, if Aaron Glenn continues to scheme his guys the way that he has over the last three weeks, if the players continue to play like they have over the last three weeks, and then you bring back your best safety, your best defensive tackle, and arguably your most dangerous and versatile pass rush weapon on the defensive line, the defense can win you football games. The defense can win you playoff games and adding two really good pass rushers to this defense, as well as a great safety and turnover machine is going to help the Detroit Lions defense look even better going into the playoffs than it already does. So with all of that being said, I will put out my apologies to Aaron Glenn. He is somebody, I don't take back what I said necessarily because I still believe that early in the season, everything I said still stands true. But I also think he needs his flowers. He is a person that has gone through a lot of adversity in Detroit, obviously has gone through a lot of bad defenses in Detroit, but whether it be at a desperation or finally just figuring it out, Aaron Glenn has turned this defense around over the last three games. And even though it's a small sample size, this is what the Detroit Lions defense should look like. This is what good coaching is is for the Detroit Lions. And I think that if you give him a real cornerback too, I think if you give him a little bit more depth, I'm really excited to see if he can continue this trajectory going into 2024, assuming he remains the coordinator for the Lions. It doesn't get signed away by a second team. But with all that being said, that is all for you guys today. Giving Aaron Glenn his flowers, talking about how good the defense has been and how good the defense can be in week 18 and going through the playoffs. So with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. We'll talk more about CJ and Aleem and James Houston tomorrow during the injury report and injury updates. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys right now. Thank you all so very much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions. <laughs>